Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous week. If you're in the UK, you will know how bloody hot it is right now. Oh my goodness, I think it's like 30 degrees. In fact, this weekend it's going to be 34, which is insane. Actually, it's so nice, but if you're in the UK and you don't have any aircon, it's just, it's a lot. I actually just booked a little staycation to the countryside for this weekend because I was like, I do not want to be in London when this heat wave kicks. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It is actually currently like five o'clock. I normally start my vlogs in the morning, but honestly guys, today I have been so slow. I woke up at eight and I just could not get myself up and going and motivated so it's been a very slow day hence why I only got ready at like four o'clock which is so bad but I think sometimes you just need those slower days with no makeup just getting work done on the sofa super chilled and yeah I put it down to my schedule in the last two months has honestly been chock a block it's been non-stop and this week is the first week where I've got quite a free diary and I woke up this morning, checked my calendar, and I was like, oh my god, I've actually got like I've actually got no plans this week. And I think that just sucked the motivation out of me. But I've got my motivation back up and running. It's all good. And I asked you guys on Instagram this morning what you'd like to see on my channel this week. And most of the responses were just like a weekly vlog at home. And that really makes me happy because I love vlogging. And I'm so glad that you guys love watching them. In fact, speaking of vlogging, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the really sweet comments on my last vlog. Just They were all just so lovely. And I was reading them, smiling away, like replying, just feeling so... Um, warm on the inside so yeah i'm happy to be spending the week with you all albeit a very very quiet week and yeah anyway it's coming up to the end of the working day i have just got one more thing to do on my to-do list and that is to film a ad so i'm gonna get cracking with that now it's actually a hair ad for my instagram and honestly my hair doesn't cooperate when it's hot i either have to have it quite straight or in like a slick bun Otherwise, I don't know, just it really annoys me and it gets a bit frizzy. So yeah, wish me luck guys. I'm gonna film this and then I'll check in with you guys shortly. Filmed the ad. Now it's time to go to, well, please go to the gym. I'm going to the supermarket. Fun times. Kate's making me dinner. Um. Okay, I've done a successful weight tray shop. I'm cooking dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a poke bowl, which I'm very excited for because whenever I order them from Deliveroo, they're never good. I've been craving one for ages. Here's a little outfit of the day. This dress, this dress, this is the dress. I am obsessed with it. How perfect is it for summer? It's just super lightweight, so pretty. I put it on my Instagram this evening and I said it deserves a place in the Amalfi Coast, but for now London will do. And I've just paired this with my Hermes Oran in the white colour. Um, but in my Instagram post I paired this with my new Castaner, I think that's how you pronounce it, wedges. And that looked really nice as well. These are the wedges, by the way, guys. They've been on my wish list for ages, and I thought summer is the perfect time to buy them. Um, I think I got these off net so I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, I think they're this perfect summer shoe, which go with the perfect summer dress. As soon as I start cooking, or as soon as anyone goes in the kitchen, these two swiftly follow. They're my little hoovers, aren't you guys? Yes. Okay, so it was only a little waitrose and they were missing a lot of the ingredients. So we have broccoli, tofu, mango, sweet corn, bean sprouts, avocado, sushi rice. I'm not looking forward to cooking this. If you guys know me well, you will know how much I despise cooking rice. It's, yeah. I know it's not rocket science, but I just don't enjoy it. So we'll see how this goes. Guys, I'm not even kidding, this is a disaster. There's a reason why I don't like cooking rice, and this is the reason. Look at this big pile of stodge. So I've got a second pot going, and hopefully this one goes better if you use less water. But I followed the instructions, like, exactly, and I don't know where, where we went wrong, guys. I already get, like, angry or annoyed, but right now I'm angry and annoyed. Like, I really wanted this to go well. 
Anyway, here we have tofu bean sprouts, sweet corn mixed with teriyaki, soy sauce, a uh, bit of ginger, a bit of garlic. Guys, I did it! Second time lucky. I perfected the rice. I'm very happy. Okay, so we have avocado, mango, tofu, bean sprouts, sweet corn, rice, um, broccoli. And I've just made a little dressing, which is soy sauce, honey, a bit of rice, wine, vinegar. Oh my god! There you go! Thank you! Okay, so we're going to watch 27 dresses with our poke bowls. We have to give the bunnies food while we eat food, otherwise they just harass us, don't they, Bob? They jump into the bowl. Literally, they have no shame. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Can you see that? No! Oh my god, that's so funny! <laughs> that's so funny! I'm gonna put that to After dinner kisses? No. With my baby? No worries, so accounting. Now you're bossy. <laughs> dinner time in the household oh look how cute they are when they eat on the menu tonight is parsley okay guys i'm just gonna run through my current bedtime skincare routine um by the way dinner was really nice i have to say i didn't enjoy it because i knew how much stress it was to make now on i'm gonna stick to my hello freshers first step is face halo and then i literally just wet this with warm water and take off the majority of my makeup cleanser i'm going to use my nip and fab hyaluronic fix cleansing cream by the way if you can hear chewing and munching in the background the bunnies are currently enjoying their hay yeah i really like this one i just feel like it's very moisturizing and it really gets deep into your pores and then i get the other side of the face halo and wash this off just put my retainer in so if i'm a little bit lispy that's why I'm now going to pop some retinol on. There's two retinols I like to use. It's either the Medicaid Crystal Retinol 6 or... Where's my other one? I can't find it, but it's a Skin Me one. Really, really like them both. Um, this one's just a little bit stronger. And where I'm not really in the sun as much at the moment because I'm not on holiday, I'm going to use the stronger one. So I use like a pea size. Yeah, I really like this one. I think it's very effective. It's good at making your skin that real, like, kind of glass skin. So it's good at, like, minimising pores, any fine lines. I don't really have many fine lines on my face. The only one I kind of get is on my smile line. And when I stop using retinol, the smile line does come back a little bit deeper. So I know that it's doing its job. Another product that I love, I won't use it tonight because I don't like to mix it with retinol, but it's this. This is the Valmont Lumi Peel. Oh my god. The Lumi range from Valmont is just the dream. It feels and smells just so luxurious. I can't explain it to you. Oh, this just smells so pure. I love it. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a miss tonight. Okay, I'm going to use Attacha Silk Cream. And look, it's got this really cute little spoon right at the top. It just feels so hydrating. It smells really nice. It makes your skin soft like a baby. Pop the spoon back in. Okay, I've definitely used too much. What I'm gonna do though is I'll just leave it like a layer on the skin and let it soak in overnight. And then to finish, I'm gonna use the Molly May um, Spritz Me. I'm normally a diehard fan of the Satcha Pay Spritz, but I've been really enjoying this recently. And then last, but definitely not least, serum. So I'm gonna use the X Brow Serum. I've only been using this like, I wanna say like a month, maybe less. Um, I keep on like using it for a few weeks and I forget. But this time I'm staying committed and I'm gonna see if there are any differences. And then of course my lash serum as well. Hey okay guys, that's me all done. So I will see you all bright and early in the morning. By the way, tomorrow's gonna be a lot less slow and a lot more productive. I've written myself out a whole to-do list, time schedule, time blocking. It's gonna be a good day. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's currently eight o'clock. I woke up about half an hour ago, I've just showered. But I just thought, as I was showing you my skincare last night, I wanna show you one of my favorite skincare tools. And I don't think I've mentioned it much on my channel. I definitely showed you when I got it. This little tool 
is one very expensive but one bloody brilliant face tool this is the face gym and honestly it's one of my favorite things in the world i love it so much and i thought i'd show you what i do with it so basically it's conducted with electricity let me turn it on i put it on the higher setting and because it's with electricity you need water to like activate it i just put a bit of toner on my face okay i'm gonna do my forehead first oh this feels so nice it kind of just like contracts your muscles almost and it feels like an internal massage what it does is it lifts it firms it tightens um i actually used this on my mum and i did a before and after photo and it completely changed her skin like it was so much more plump any like deep lines were like, completely gone it is just one of those miracle tools and it's also really good for like de-puffing in the morning it is expensive this is about 500 pounds i actually went to a face gym spa and they used this on me so i was just like do you know what take my money and what it does <laughs> this is gonna be so unattractive on camera because it like contracts your muscles you have like these involuntary twitches like i am not look at my eye this is the machine doing this to my eye and like with your lip as well and it moves your lips around um but what i noticed with this is if you do one side of your face and not the other one side of your face is lifted i always go into b and i'm always like which side of my face have i just face gymmed and she can always tell which side i've done because it lifts your face so much but yeah this is very unattractive to do on camera so i'm going to do one side of my face and i'm going to come back i don't know how well this is going to come up on camera but i've done this side of my face and i feel like it just looks so much less puffy it's a lot more defined and it feels different as well like i feel like i've got less movement in my forehead on this side it kind of like almost i don't know it slightly like paralyzes your muscles um but in like a nice way can you tell a difference on camera i don't know if you can but i can definitely see one in person so yeah i'm gonna go do this side of my face now I normally start off with like my jaw i've always got way more tension in this side of my face than i do in this side can you really feel it with this tool and then around my eyes i put it on like a lower setting just because it's quite like a delicate area oh, it feels so nice it makes your brain tingle <laughs> and that's me done i feel so much more awake it literally feels like your face has just done a full-on workout so i'm gonna finish off my skincare routine now shall i show you guys my morning skin yeah, me as well. All I've done so far is wash it um, in the shower. First step is my vitamin C. I've tried lots of vitamin Cs, but this I think is my favorite. It just feels very pure. Like look, this is like pure vitamin C. Oh, it's just not very fussy. But this is really good for like pigmentation. By the way, look at my nose guys. Like this tan has not done my nose any favors. It looks like a big Rudolph knows. Yeah, vitamin C is good for pigmentation, brightening, it makes you glow. Valmont Lumi Cream. Again, it has that really nice Valmont pure smell to it. Honestly, this reminds me of being in like a spa or something. I love this so much. And then even though I'm probably going to be inside most of today, SVF 50. Especially because I'm using retinol at the moment. Okay. And that is me done. Okay, I'm actually not done. I'm going to quickly put on some body serum as well. This is the Necessaire body serum. And oh, I love this so much. I'm actually pretty much out. It just feels like really silky. And, and yeah, it just keeps your skin nice and hydrated. Okay, it's been a productive day. I started off with just some like admin bits. I'm having a bit of like a rebrand. I want to redo my website. So I worked on some bits for that. If you can hear planes in the background, I've been dealing with this all day. I swear there's an abnormal amount of planes going over us today. We're in, we're under like the Heathrow flight path and there's one going like every minute, it's crazy. Anyway, I had an admin morning, then I filmed a TikTok, uploaded it. Also, this is my outfit. I wore this to a meeting the other day, but it's actually really comfortable just to wear at home. Um, it's all from New Look. And yeah, you can make it a little bit more smart by adding some little like heels or dress it down for some trainers or some flat sandals. Here is the aftermath of filming a reel. To be fair, actually, this isn't so bad for me. I would actually love to know if there's some kind of hypnotherapy I could get that would make me tidy as I go along because it's something I physically cannot do. No, I physically can, mentally I can't. And 
my life would be so much easier if I could. Anyway, the plan now is just to get on with some laptop work and to do some research. So yeah, I'm gonna grab myself an energy drink because I've kind of hit that like mid-afternoon slump. Okay, let's try this one. I haven't tried it before, but apparently it's natural energy from plants and this is blackberry and acai flavor. Oh, also guys, look at my nails. Here's a little Biab update. They've been on for two and a half weeks, maybe three, and no chipping, they're absolutely perfect and look how long they are. Normally my thumb, so yeah, I'll show you on camera. Normally my thumb gets to this length and it just snaps off, but it is doing very well. So, so far it's been a big success. Good morning guys. I'm in a great mood today and here's a little clue why i'm in the holland and coopers which means i'm going horse riding and i haven't taken you guys riding in such a long time whenever i go by the way that's another plane going over i swear it's so annoying <laughs> yeah whenever i go horse riding it's normally my time to like really switch off so i never normally take my phone or my camera but today i'm taking you and i'm so excited for it um also i think i found my new favorite um face product for the summer normally i'd go for like a by terry cc cream or like the charlotte tilbury flawless filter but when it's so hot and humid and sticky in the uk sometimes i don't want to have anything wet on my face i want something dry and i think i found the perfect product so it's a bronzer that actually tans your face so once i take all of this off it should leave me with a nice tan um i'll have the product linked down below but yeah this is my new favorite new makeup look anyway it's coming up to 10 o'clock and i've got a call in a few minutes and then i've got to go through some work bits basically just get all the boring work out of the way for the day so i can enjoy horse riding okay call number one of the day let's go by the way can anyone else not sit like a normal human at a desk i always have to be sat in some kind of weird position hi <laughs> How are you? Okay, cool done. Went really well and I'm excited to show you guys this project that I'm working on. Hopefully it will come around beginning of August or something. I just made myself a smoothie. This has banana, blueberries, ginger, coconut milk, um, oh and then the Beauty Chef uh, glow powder and it tastes really really nice. Anyway, I've got about half an hour before I need to leave so I'm going to quickly crack on with some bits and uh, then take you guys horse riding. Good afternoon guys, that was such a lovely ride. It was quite hot outside so we didn't go too fast or too hard. Um, but we just had a few like nice gentle canters around the park and something really funny happened as well. So we always go into like this little kind of pond lake thing just so the horses can cool off a little bit. And my horse decided to sit down in the lake whilst I was sat on him. I'm really glad I've got your phone. <laughs> Look at this little rascal. Look what he's done to my boots. It's like the whole pond. <laughs> got half the pond in my boots. That is so bad. You know how you can normally tell when they're about to roll? Oh, yeah, I, there was no indication was there. No. It just went. <laughs> <laughs> So both my boots were filled up to the brim with pond water. But yeah, I was so disgusting and sweaty after the ride. So I came home and I washed my hair, even though I'm about to go to Pilates. Um, but I just thought I'm gonna smell like horses and it's just not a vibe. And before I go to Pilates, I'm gonna meet my friend for a coffee. So I wanted to feel a bit more fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna go jump on the tube now and head to Notting Hill. Even though I'm only going to Pilates, I'm gonna put some perfume on. This is the uh, Gizu one. It smells like their hair oil, so kind of like honey. And I really dose myself with it because it's not like a perfume perfume, it's quite light. But yeah, it smells beautiful and summery, so it's quite nice for a day like today. Guys, 
I'm back from Pilates. By the way, wow, my hair. Um, I let it just air dry and it's so big and puffy. This is my little Pilates outfit, by the way. So top is Amazon fashion and then the shorts are from Tala. This, what's the range called? I can't remember the range. I have it linked down below, but I have most of it. And it's honestly insane. It's like such a soft double lined material. Perfect for like working out or just like everyday wear. But yeah, it was a great little Pilates workout. So I always love them so much. Now I'm just with B back at home. Mm -hmm. Give a little wave. It's really warm. It's so warm. And for dinner, B made pasto pesto. Um, and I'm also just working on some... Pasto pesto? Pasto... Pasto <laughs> pesto. <laughs> pesto pasta. You look at me really concerned then. I was like, pasto. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> now time for Love Island and B got me a Solero. What do you have, yeah. B? <laughs> <laughs> this is top quality content. Cheers. Cheers. Beep. She's honestly the thickest person I've ever met. Good morning guys. Oh, I'm a bit sleepy this morning. I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast. Here's what I've got. Some avocado, lime, paprika, and a smoothie. Okay, so one of the tasks I need to do today is to clear my wardrobe because it's just, it's just got really on top of me recently. So it's a bit of a mess, as you can see. Um, I've got my lovely assistant Grace with me today, so we're going to um, yeah blitz this all together. I think this side isn't too bad; it's just not it's not great. Ignore the noisy fan in the background, but we've pretty much done everything. We've got a huge pile of trousers, which is what I struggle to store the most. I just, yeah, I just always find it really hard to store trousers for some reason. But we've got some nice order going on here. Ideally, I'd have it color coded, but it's actually just so much easier to navigate when it's like coded by item. So like blouses here, knitwear here. Um, I've also got a ton of things under my bed. This is mostly summer stuff at the moment. Um, and then we've got like dresses and stuff here, little like lacy tops here, uh, sets here, and then blazers all the way back here. So yeah, Grace has done a fabulous job. Well, it's a bit of teamwork, but yeah, let's go on to the trousers now. The next bit we're doing is this drawer, which is full up of dust bags for my designer handbags and then like lots of like travel toiletry bits. Um, so this is what I'm tackling there. We've just done my hair care, hair tools drawer and look how organised and lovely it looks. I've got products in here, tools and some more products in here and then yeah, like all my appliances here. Yeah. I've got a Zara haul for you guys. I picked up a couple of little summer bits from Zara. Oh, hello Pip. Are you joining in on the haul? And I haven't tried it on yet, but as far as I can see, I really like everything, which is rare for Zara. First thing I picked up is this really cute little top. It's giving me very much like Jacquemus vibes. You can even pair this with like some little jeans, some white heels, and it's like a nice glam outfit. But yeah, I really liked this. A little bit worried about the boob situation. I feel like I'd have to tip tape it down because it is quite like loose. But we'll see how we go with this. And this is in an extra small and it was £25.99. And I also picked up this dress, which I just thought was so pretty. Um, it's got adjustable straps, which is good, especially if you're short like me, because then you can make the straps a bit smaller so it's a bit less long. But yeah, it's pretty plain, but then you just have like this really pretty broidery just on the end as a bit of a frill skirt. I can picture this with like some gladiator sandals or something. I think that looked really nice. Um, I've got this in an extra small and this was £32.99. Now, if you guys watched my last vlog, you would have remembered that I had like this kind of broidery long Zara dress. And I was saying how I love it, but I just felt like a bit of a granny in it. So I ended up selling that over on my Depop. But then I saw this dress and there's something about this dress that I feel might look a little bit less granny. Um, it's very similar though, like it's the same shape, but the difference is it's kind of got more of an open V neckline which definitely helps make it feel a little bit more young and modern and less old. 
Um, and I also loved the belt that comes with it. It's like a nice rattan, kind of like straw effect belt, like a tortoiseshell um, buckle. And I just thought that was really nice. Add something to the dress. So this is a nice and long one. And yeah, I hope I like it on because I really like it off. So we will see. Oh, and by the way, that was 55 99 And again, extra small. I also got like this kind of loose shirt cover up kind of thing again kind of shocking me vibes but i thought this would look quite nice dressed up with jeans some little heels and um, you've also got like a nice pretty lace bralette underneath uh, it's this lovely lightweight like linen-y texture material and this was 25.99 and extra small again i thought i would also show you this top because it's another one that i'm on the fence with i kind of just feels like it looks a bit 2000s you know when everyone needs to tie their shirts up but yeah i'm not 100 percent sure i do think it makes quite a nice outfit though i've just paired it with some jeans and then my orans so let me know what you guys think I really love this next piece, so I'm hoping it fits me. It's this really simple, plain bandeau bodysuit dress. And I can just picture this as a really casual outfit with like some sandals maybe, even like some trainers, just as a super cool, lightweight summer outfit. Um, I say lightweight, it's kind of almost like a really thin denim. This was 29.99 and I got this in an XS again and then finally i picked up some pajamas because i always struggle with what to wear in bed in this heat because i kind of like to be a bit covered because you obviously get quite sweaty I just feel like it's a bit more hygienic to be covered but then at the same time it's really hot so i picked up these really pretty well they're just very simple but i think they're pretty so it's a little pajama set this is the top i actually think you could wear this top just like out and about if you paired it with like some trousers and then it's got some matching cute little white shorts and I thought it would be really nice to wear in the summer um, it's like made out of a satiny material the top was £20 size small the shorts are uh, 17 99 extra small so that's everything from Zara that I've got to show you guys let me know what you guys think of everything I'm always really um, intrigued to know your opinions because they're sometimes very different to mine and yeah I just like to hear them basically so uh, let me know and here's today's outfit by the way uh, this top which definitely needs a bit of a steam is from stories and then these trousers which I'm obsessed with because they're like this really smart jogger um, super comfortable elastic waistband but then you have the seam going down the front which makes it feel more tailored these are from Reese, um, and yeah, this would make a nice little airport outfit actually, wouldn't it? Editing this vlog back, I've realised I never actually ended it, so I'm going to end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed spending a week with me. If there's anything you'd like to see in my next video, then please do let me know. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah! Can show you what I'm going